e business uh, organization design in this particular session we will talk about uh, what is the e business the strategies for the integrating the bricks and the clicks uh, it impact on the organization design then as usual the case study research papers book recommendations and the references are there so good design is the good business is there which all of us know that is the nowadays when we are talking about the competition in the competition it is the innovation is there so e business can be defined as any business that takes place by the digital processes over a computer network rather than in physical space however a business most commonly refers to a electronic linkages over the internet with the customers partners suppliers employees or other key constituents are there e-commerce is a more limited term that refers specifically to business exchange or the transaction that occur electronically today e-commerce transforming into in commerce which is simply means the ability to conduct business transaction through a mobile device the world has gone the mobile for many people uh, their cell phone is always uh, uh, within reach and they use for the everything from ordering a pizza to accessing their bank account many traditional organizations have set up uh, internet operations but managers have to make a decision uh, about uh, how best to integrate uh, bricks and clicks uh, and that is how to blend their traditional operations with the internet uh, initiatives in the early days of uh, e business many companies set up uh, uh, dot com initiative with uh, the little understanding of how those activities uh, could uh, and uh, should be integrated with the overall business at the reality of the e business has evolved uh, companies uh, have gained the valuable lessons in how to merge uh, online and uh, uh, offline activities the range of the basic strategies uh, for the setting up an in internet operation is illustrated in the further figure here we find that is the how Oh, this particular uh, this uh, spin off uh, that is the separate e business company in in house division is there that is company a division 1 division 2 and the e business division now fully integrated company a is the e business division 1 and division 2 now the separation benefits to the integration benefits are there so separation benefits are there is a focus autonomy responsiveness entrepreneur culture is there while integration business we talk about the broad recognition coordination shared information and the customer efficiencies are there when we talk about the strategies for the integrating then the, this particular separate business uh, to give the internet operations autonomy and flexibility some organizations uh, choose to create a separate company uh, using either a spin off or uh, a joint venture a separate business is a free standing uh, internet business and uh, that compete with the other internet companies are there advantages of a separate business include uh, uh, faster decision making in uh, uh, increased flexibility and responsiveness to change the market conditions as entrepreneurial culture and the management uh, and it is totally focused on the success of the online operation now potential disadvantages are the loss of the brand recognition and the marketing opportunities higher startup cost and the loss of the leverage with the suppliers is there in house division in a in house division offers uh, uh, the tight integration between the internet operations and the organizations uh, traditional operations uh, the organization creates a separate unit uh, within the company and that functions within the structure guidance to the traditional organization for example disney.com is a division is under the guidance and control of the Walt Disney Company uh, the in house approach gives the new division several advantages by um, piggy banking on the established company is there so this includes the brand recognition purchasing leverage uh, with the suppliers shared customer information and the marketing opportunities and the distribution efficiencies are concerned but the new operations does not have the flexibility needed to move quickly in the internet world is there this integrated design a third option uh, is a total integrated design with this uh, approach uh, there is a uh, no separation between the traditional part and in the e business part is there so e business is uh, incorporated into the every employee's work uh, and that is uh, what might have the started out as an in house division uh, in broken up and the assigned to the various uh, departments and uh, business units as part of the everyday way of operating uh, where uh, 
uh, virtually every employee is involved in the both uh, traditional and uh, e-business activities. The magazine India, therefore, um, India Today provide a good example. At the internet uh, matures as a place for uh, doing business, more companies are uh, uh, shifting towards a totally integrated design. Walmart, for example, is uh, uh, recruiting, restructuring uh, its uh, e-commerce operations uh, as it faces the growing pressure to compete with the web rivals uh, such as uh, Amazon is there. For now, an e-business operates uh, at a greater speed uh, than a traditional business uh, prior to the popularization of the digital technology and commercialization of the internet. Uh, brick and mortar business transactions are characterized uh, by the customer traveling to the store, entering the store, uh, talking with a salesperson and if the desired item is uh, in stock, purchasing it and then traveling back to the, his home or office. An e-business transaction takes much uh, less time as the customer simply finds an online retailer, uh, selects the product, pays with a debit or credit card and uh, awards the delivery in a day or two. Now, before the customer exists uh, the website, the money is already paid and then the goods ordered out for the shipping. The rapid transaction time requires a quick operational response and often present the problems of a question that must be settled immediately. A flat decentralized structure is better suited to the rapid response requirement of the e-commerce is there. Flexible. Many e-commerce companies maintain the inventory at warehouse locations uh, far from their transaction centers. Uh, these transaction centers may also be located at different places around the globe. The rapid interplay of the financial transactions, fulfillment and the customer service across distances and uh, different business cultures require flexibility in an organizational structure. Uh, decisions must be made at the point where a problem arises, uh, not delayed until the top management gets around to them. For the this reason a tail hierarchy structure is, uh, uh, is still uh, suited to the e-business needs. So therefore, in, if uh, you want to be the uh, innovative, then e-business is also characterized by the innovation. A characteristic that thrives uh, in a flat or the horizontal organizational structure because of the wide distribution of the decision making authority. In a tall organizational structure, rules and standardization processes and the procedures uh, control operations, so innovation must be approved at the top of this uh, uh, the hierarchy before the application in operations. Uh, and this takes time and discourages the personal initiative that results in innovation. Uh, IT impact uh, on organization design. Uh, managers and the organization the theories have been studying the relationship between the technology and the organization design and functioning for more than half a century. In recent years, the advance uh, in the automation technology have had the greatest impact uh, in most organizations. Uh, some specific implications of these advances for the organization design are similar organizations, uh, decentralized structures, improved internal and external coordination and the new network organization structures are there. The smaller organizations are the some uh, internet based uh, business exist almost entirely in cyberspace. There is no formal organization in terms of a building with the offices desk and so forth. Uh, one of a few people may maintain the site uh, from their homes or the uh, rented workspace. Even for the traditional businesses, new IT enables the organization to do more work uh, with the fewer people. Customers can buy the insurance, clothing tools and the equipment and practically anything else uh, over the internet without over the speaking to an agent or the salesperson. In addition, ERP and the other IT system automatically handle many administrative duties within the organizations uh, reducing the need for the clerical staff. Decentralized organization structures, although management philosophy and the corporate culture have a substantial impact on whether the IT is used to decentralize information and authority or to reinforce a centralized authority structure, uh, most organizations today use the technology to further decentralization. Mm, with IT information that may have previously been available only to the top managers of the headquarters can be quickly shared throughout the organization even across the great geographical distances are there. IT impact on organization design. Managers in the varied business uh, divisions or uh, the offices have the information they need to make important decisions quickly rather than waiting for the decisions from the headquarters. Technologies that enable people to meet, coordinate and collaborate online facilitate the communication and decision making among the distributed groups of the uh, workers such as in the virtual teams. 
in addition technology allows the telecommuting uh, where the individual workers uh, can person work that was the once uh, done in the office uh, from the computers at home or the other remote uh, locations are concerns uh, they improved uh, horizontal coordination perhaps one of the, the greatest outcomes of the IT is its potential to improve coordination and the communication within the firm is there. As we always see that is uh, whenever we are talking about uh, the organizational practices or the businesses then the, uh, including this uh, uh, planning, organizing, staffing, directing and coordinating right and then control is there. So, therefore, um, this particular coordination function and with the help of uh, this horizontal coordination uh, with the uh, IT, it becomes a very smooth is there. Now, we always see that is the uh, one department uh, is ha having the input for the other department or section is there. Whenever from the one section to the another section, um, this particular uh, uh, work has to be done, this is work will be done with the help of a team. And so, this team will be structured. Now, the difference between a team and a group is and that is about the coordination is there. Now, this coordination can be done either by the person or either by the IT. Right? And therefore, in that case, uh, when we talking about that is the, when in their offices, uh, they, they talk about uh, uh, improve the coordination and communication, then this IT tool that becomes very, very helpful. Because uh, the communication, you know that is it reaches within the, within the fraction of seconds to the another person and as far as the coordination are concerned. So, like a simple example is uh, that is in the horizontal coordination and the meeting is to be there and in that case of the meeting uh, nowadays uh, that is uh, online meetings are there, the person is available or not uh, physically available in the uh, premises, uh, but uh, then uh, he can make this uh, coordination with the help of the technology. So, here the role of the technology especially IT, it becomes very, very important uh, because whenever we are talking about uh, this particular aspect of the IT, then here this application can connect the people even when their offices, factories or stores are scattered around the world. So, the, the most important function, right? And that is about as a tool, as a mechanism of the IT is uh, what I feel that is a coordination is there. Now, the another aspect, uh, now if the person is doing the coordination, then it becomes very difficult to do the coordination physically as it is mentioned in the uh, next point also that is the whenever we are talking about uh, uh, this particular aspect, uh, then here um, this, uh, this uh, 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 coordination that is becoming a very, very important. Now, uh, here if uh, we are talking about uh, these aspects, uh, uh, then uh, the uh, physically, especially here when we talk about that is uh, uh, when they are at the scattered uh, places are there. Scattered means what? Scattered means even the across the um, globe is concerned or when geographically the when we are talking about the boundaryless organizations. So, IT impact on these uh, uh, horizontal coordination is a such a high impact and that we have seen in the COVID time also and in the end uh, it is uh, so helpful that is even the post COVID era we are using the same uh, the IT mechanisms uh, most of the times uh, to make the uh, work uh, more uh, efficiently uh, and uh, using the IT tools uh, as a coordinating tool is there. Now, uh, IBM for example, uh, make extensive use of the virtual teams which I was giving the example in this coordination, whose members uh, use a wide variety of IT tools to easily communicate and the collaborate is there. So, one team made up of the members in the United States, Germany and the United Kingdom use the collaboration software as a virtual meeting room to solve a client's technical problem resulting from the hurricane uh, the Katrina is there within the space of the just a few days. So, Siemens uses a global intranet uh, that connects the 450,000 employees around the world to share the knowledge and to collaborate on the projects are there. And this improved organizational relationship, uh, uh, it can, IT can also improve the horizontal coordination and the collaboration with the external uh, uh, parties uh, such as suppliers, customers and the partners. The further figure shows differences between the traditional inter-organizational relationship characteristics uh, and the emerging relationship 
relationship characteristics are there. Uh, traditional organizations had an uh, arm's length relationship with the suppliers. Uh, studies have shown that the inter-organizational information network tend to uh, uh, heighten the integration, um, uh, blur organizational boundaries and uh, create the shared strategic uh, contingencies among the firms are there. Now, here we will see that IT impact on the organization design is there. Now, the key characteristics uh, of the traditional versus the emerging inter-organizational relationships, uh, the, then the traditional organizational relationships organizational relationships are there, you know, the suppliers uh, that is the M's length relationships, uh, use of the telephone, mall, uh, mail for ordering, uh, invoicing and the payments are there. And whenever we are talking about the emerging or inter-organizational relationships, so that is becoming the interactive electronic relationships, electronic ordering, invoicing payments are there. So, uh, here for the customers are concerned, traditional inter-organizational relationships were limited communication with the manufacturers were there. A mix of the phone, responses, mail, hard copy information was there. Now, when you are talking about the emerging inter-organizational relationships, uh, so direct access to manufacturer, real-time information exchange, uh, electronic access to product information, consumer ratings, uh, customer service data is there. So, therefore, here it is becoming the uh, uh, emerging inter-organizational relationship is much faster and there is a direct access also. So, enhanced network structures, the high level of inter-organizational collaboration needed in a network organization structure would not be possible without the use of the advanced IT. In the business world, then these are also sometimes called modular structures or the virtual organizations. So, uh, outsourcing has become a major trend thanks to computer technology that can uh, uh, tie companies together into a seamless information flow. For example, the Hong Kong's Lee and Feng is one of the uh, biggest uh, uh, providers of the clothing for the retailer such as the um, Abercrombie and, and the Fitch, uh, Gas, uh, uh, and Taylor, the, and the, uh, the Limited and the Disney, but the company does not uh, uh, own any uh, factories uh, or the machines or the fabrics are there. So, therefore, this, um, uh, so such a biggest uh, uh, this uh, clothing uh, company is not having the any uh, the physical uh, uh, any uh, factories or the machines uh, or assets are there. So, um, this is the Lee and Feng specializes uh, in managing information uh, relying on an electronically connected web of 7500 partners uh, in the 37 countries to provide the raw materials and they assemble the cloths. Um, using extranet allows uh, Lee and Feng to stay in touch with the worldwide partners and the move items quickly from the factories to retailers. It also lets the retailers uh, track orders as they move uh, through production and uh, make the last minute changes and additions are there. With a network structure, most activities are the outsourced so that the different companies perform the functions as per the organization. The speed and the ease of the electronic communication makes the network structure a viable option for the company that want to keep costs low, but they expand the activities or the market presence. Now, we will go through this particular case study of the ICICI bank. The constant challenges that a rapidly changing business environment processes to organization and the businesses make it imperative to constantly enhance knowledge and skill sets. If you remember, I also mentioned in the previous session also that is the capturing this intellectual capital or the human capital in the enhancement of human capital. Now, one thing is very clear that is if you are having the strong human capital, then your IT uh, users will be, uh, there will be more and if the IT users are more uh, than in the this uh, modern technologies uh, time when we, we, we have talked about uh, these emerging inter-organizational relationships uh, that is a direct access to the manufacturers, real time information, electronic access to product information and consumers. So, this, this is becoming a very, very um, um, important. And therefore, uh, it is a, if you have to create uh, uh, your human capital uh, uh, that, that is to the next level. So, this not uh, through the enhancing their training into the knowledge and skill sets. In order for it to the compete successfully with the other organizations from its industry and meet the expectations of its customers, ICICI Bank uh, believes that it is important 
to build a learning organization and uh, we have also talked in the previous session about the learning organization and the organizations uh, with a period of time they have to keep a continuous learning culture. So, uh, the need to create a culture of knowledge sharing gave rise to, a, uh, to the creation of the ICICI portal and it is a wise guy. And this need was ignited as a result of the mass uh, mitigation of employees uh, migration from their treasury towards the, uh, the greener postures uh, of the uh, dot com era. Uh, it would be the new incumbent uh, who would have to suffer uh, as a result of this migration as the old employees would not leave behind uh, any documented information about the clients that he or she were associated with or the work done by them. So, therefore, here this is a big challenge. That is the, uh, the that is the old employees uh, would not leave behind any documented information. Now, that is why in which uh, we are emphasizing on this particular issue while the, the, this horizontal coordination and vertical coordination even and uh, when there are no documents are there, what is required? The capture of the tacit knowledge is required. Dear friends, in the today's uh, the competitive era, it is becoming very important that you are having this capturing of the knowledge about the clients uh, and with, uh, with the whole work done by them. So, therefore, that capturing of knowledge and uh, especially the tacit knowledge and uh, keeping the repository that is becoming the best practices as a result of which the new incumbent would end up wasting a lot of their time in trying to, uh, to lay a foundation and begin their work uh, because um, there is no, he is not getting the, uh, the any information which the earlier already has been uh, uh, practiced by the old employee, uh, maybe through the customers, maybe through the, uh, the suppliers and all. So, another reason behind the birth of the wise guy portal was the merger of ICICI and ICICI bank uh, that was likely to happen soon. The wise guy was seen as a common thread uh, that would uh, blend it to uh, blend it to different um, cultures and uh, uh, would assist in enabling a smooth transition. ICICI has the uh, branches and over the country with several employees uh, having never met each other in the person and having the integrated only via emails. So, so, they functioned as a virtual team is there and this wise guy uh, which has been helping uh, to making this uh, uh, integration between the maybe the different uh, culture or different the offices at the different places. Uh, so, ICICI branches all over the country and with the several employees having the never met each other. So, therefore, in that case uh, this wise guy uh, that is making them, them bringing them the uh, closer together because then uh, though they are at the different places, uh, but uh, with the help of IT they functioned uh, uh, as a virtual team. So, however, the existing intranet was not uh, successful in fostering a sense of unity and uh, belonging and therefore, a need to bring about a common platform was felt. Uh, so, and here it is becoming very, very necessary that is the when we are talking about uh, the another aspect uh, HR aspects in IT is concerned. So, IT is a tool. So, coordinator, coordination I was talking about. So, that coordination will be faster the flow of communication will be faster, but it cannot have the human touch and that is a uh, uh, limitation of this IT is there. So, wise guy is there. So, a sense of unity which will be created and belonging that will be created, but uh, there is a need about uh, a common platform of the communication to each other physically. So, um, uh, that is why we are taking the help of the virtual meetings and all. They are also IT helping uh, to connect uh, uh, with the, the one employee to the another employee is there. So, therefore, you cannot uh, uh, only only rely on this uh, on this uh, the portals uh, and uh, without having the human touch. So, therefore, a human touch is required on this particular uh, uh, the IT initiatives. So, initiating the knowledge management at ICICI once the need for the knowledge management uh, has been recognized uh, that is a knowledge creation knowledge storage and knowledge sharing. 
the next step is to put into the practice. In case of ICICI, this step was taken having a coordination group of the concept of the employees are there. The wise guy banner was the float rate of the company's uh, uh, intranet and all employees were sent emails regarding the features and functions interested parties uh, could uh, uh, then get in touch with the, uh, the, the system administrators in order to gain access to the uh, login password is there. Now, one thing we have to understand that is the um, this type of the initiatives, uh, they are the uh, making the changes into the organization. So, uh, the employee should be trained and they should have that acceptance uh, uh, for this particular change because the challenge with this uh, type of the practices in the many organization is uh, that is the people feel uh, that is the, the it might be a threat for them because they do not know. But if you give them the proper training, understanding and then the vision, the leader is able to create that vision and communicate that is the uh, how this is beneficial for all. This is not the only beneficial for the young employees, it is not beneficial for the employees those who are IT conversant, but this is the beneficial for the overall organization and therefore, to gain the access to, the, uh, uh, to their and the login password that will be given. The members of this uh, the coordination group consisted of the employees from the research group uh, HRD, ICSA, Infotech and the library staff. Uh, intellect resides in the firms uh, uh, these uh, human brains. Uh, the organization systems of the operating technologies also store elements of the knowledge, skills and understanding. So, intellect uh, both forms uh, what makes the power that uh, properly can be a uh, great. Uh, an employee may possess the knowledge by the sheer virtue of their being associated with it. The knowledge is implicit in nature, knowledge becomes explicit when the employee is uh, aware about the fact that uh, they possess the knowledge about a particular thing. Game systems uh, aim into uh, capture and uh, codify with implicit knowledge and make it available in a common uh, platform so that the members of the organization uh, that can access uh, uh, it and use it for their benefits. However, this process seems easier um, said than uh, done. The most likely the first feedback to arise in the process is the unwillingness of an employee to part with the knowledge they possess. Now, here um, two things are very important. One side that employee is there who does not want to uh, share uh, his uh, tacit knowledge because uh, he thinks that is, uh, it is his assets and the sharing of this tacit knowledge uh, that uh, uh, will be a threat for him and nobody will ask him further. Uh, but uh, what is the solution? The solution is that, that this employee is required to enhance and develop his tacit knowledge continuously. And when he, when he will be having this continuous process of enhancing his knowledge, so uh, the, his uh, old knowledge uh, that will be shared and the new knowledge that will be created. So, th this way uh, the whole process uh, um, that will work. Uh, now, uh, it, it is important uh, that is whenever we are talking about uh, this process, uh, uh, these challenges, the employees mindsets uh, that has to be trained. Second, which uh, I mentioned earlier, acceptance. Acceptance uh, for uh, this process that is the uh, which is to be implemented into the organization IT process that that is to be required to be accepted. The next road line could be the unwillingness of the other employees uh, to absorb this particular knowledge. Uh, and second is one is the creation of that knowledge. But the another big challenge is that is how to absorb this particular knowledge is there. So, during the initial days uh, no employees uh, was asked to share and their implicit knowledge was there. So, that uh, they should not feel that is the this is an attack, attack on their uh, the knowledge uh, bank. Um, thus, the information that was made available on the wise guy portal was of the explicit nature in general and so did not uh, uh, threaten any one knowledge uh, quotient or the personal power uh, which were uh, uh, derived by the virtue of the processing knowledge. The content of the portal thereof the comprised of the discussions, uh, uh, queries, uh, edited uh, contribution books, training, calendar vendors, external and internal reports, uh, event and the captured uh, offline lectures other presentations are there. 
So, this wise guy at ICICI awareness about the wise guy portal was uh, spread uh, through email sent to the all employees and the vendors put on the uh, internet site. Uh, in order to maintain the people's interest and keep them the engaged contribution made by the users uh, or the uh, acknowledged. Every month, uh, the top three contributors are selected on the basis of this uh, contribution uh, made by them to the portal in the last three months. Uh, now, and this the way uh, the, the rest of the employees were there encouraged and motivated. Thus, uh, for the example, contribution made in the months of the January, February, and March are judged for the awards of the month of April. Uh, awards are decided uh, uh, to on the basis of the number of the contributions made by an employee's number of people who read his or her article and the number of responses given to the different queries. As part of the award, the photograph of the top three contributions is uh, showcased on the portal's web uh, sites and uh, they are given uh, cash prize. Uh, ca uh, so, therefore, as well. So, here that encouragement, that motivation was done to the photograph uh, uh, of the top three contributors. Uh, so, therefore, recognition was there and, uh, and uh, the everybody uh, was getting a feeling of job satisfaction and uh, highly motivated. So, this type of these uh, on the website portals, uh, this type of the issues are uh, there. So, emails both congratulating and critiquing and uh, uh, the portal was uploaded for everyone to see and discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the system. The portal provides everyone a personal corner wherein they can save their uh, searches, track their level of involvement or the portal count their knowledge case points or they update their personal profile. The, the area of expertise mentioned by the employees in the, their profile helps in the tracking people expertise wise. Uh, the tracker also helps track people based on their names and the departments are there. So, one can access the various sections of the portals only if uh, they have a login ID and a password confidential sections and they are restricted by the administrators and are not available in the public view. So, here they will find that is the um, this helps in the maintaining the privacy where necessary such as in case of the sections that contain information related to the clients. The learning matrix allows us to the upgrade their knowledge at their own pace. Currently, it offers 83 plans out of which an employee can select the those that uh, they would help to be in the year. So, while some models are the compulsory for the some departments, others are the optional, the employees can keep a track of the models uh, that help he is registered for and monitor which uh, ones out of them have been uh, compiled. So, here the, this site also provides links to the other usual databases as the MIT knowledge base, uh, uh, ICRA database, uh, uh, banking rules and, and etcetera is there. And this came group uh, which is helping uh, with the help of the wise guy that is has become the human face as well as. So, the, the challenge uh, in the here uh, by the ICSSI for the uh, that is the employees belonging to the younger group support that the senior management provided that lead to the development at the idea of the knowledge management was there. And this is uh, uh, as a result of which there is a wise guy portal that has become the successful and objectives in the coming year or else uh, that will be there. This is a research paper which you can refer later on the role of the organizational capabilities in the successful e-business implementation. This paper will give you the insight about the how you can use the IT. This is a book e-business organization and technical foundations which you can use for your further study purposes and uh, you can refer these are uh, the uh, references uh, so that you can get an idea that is the how these IT and the e-businesses and they are helping as compared to the traditional business styles are there. Thank you.